Tariq St. Patrick. Son of James St. Patrick. No code, no loyalty. And you smell just like him. I know the truth. I know who you are. And I'm gonna put you where you belong. Have mercy on I know why I'm doing this, but why are you? I had everything set up for me. Life, school, my family was away safely. I'm not letting nobody take that from me. I gotta become the apex predator. My dad tried his hardest to keep me away from this. Now look how it turned out. I gotta use all the good parts of him, the bad parts of him. They gotta get what's coming to them. I'm not gonna rest until that happens. Have mercy on me. What's up, big ass niggas? This your boy Jay Miles, and I am back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share it with your ugly ass friends. On today's video, we'll be covering Power Book 2 Ghosts, and this one is titled Tariq Learns from Ghost Mistakes and Takes Out Braden in the season finale. Now, I know that title right there has got to be getting a lot of you little ugly, ugly people, uh, ugly niggas' um, fingers ready because you ready to comment and say, this ain't going to happen. All right, ugly nigga. I get it. To be quite frankly with you and to be honest, I don't believe it's going to happen either. But it's just a fan theory of me, you know, putting something out there that I think would make a great storyline if it would have happened. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So, what I what came me up made me come up with this particular theory is basically, you know, reading the the descriptions for the season and the description character description for to read tank to read shit to read Saint Patrick. <clears throat> so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just read it out real quick as you see it on the screen. And then I'll go ahead and, you know, get a little deeper into my prediction. So, the aftermath of season three's treacherous finale finds Tariq St. Patrick outmatched and outgunned. After finding himself bested by those he placed trust in, his and his family's lives threatened. Season four's Tariq is determined to never allow that to happen again. His plan is to crush everyone who went against him because the best way to stay safe in the game is to run the game. It's not enough to kill his enemies. He's going to make them wish he had, granting them a fate worse than death. Where we've seen Tariq dream of being free from the game last season, we now see Tariq determined to set at the top of the pyramid because the only way to stay on top is to cripple anyone else's chances of climbing up from the bottom. Now, for me, reading that character description, basically, it sounds like to me, it could it, basically the part that they were talking about, you know, um, giving them a fate worse than death. Like, in the game, the only fate that's worse than, worse than death is jail. I mean, I don't, I can't think of anything that I could think of worse. But y'all, you know, y'all definitely let me know in the comments what other fate, in y'all opinion, could be worse than death. The only thing is prison. Going your ass to prison, spending the rest of your life there. Where you have no freedom, you know, no control of, you know, what you do. It's like Kanan said, you know, on, um, what was that, season three. No, season four, when he was talking about jail, that's the real fear. You can't control how you're living, how you're eating. When he said that, that's real fear. That's worse than death, because like death, I mean, you know, all your suffering pain is over. <laughs> but, um, and, you know, that's obviously li leaving out, you know, religious beliefs and stuff in there. But you get what I'm saying. So... In this, in my, in my opinion, it, it kind of seemed like Tariq is going to be riding, in my opinion. But, hey, that's not what this is about. This is not Tariq's character description. This is about how I could possibly see him taking out Brayden and why. So, 
let's take a look at Ghost Life, right? Because um, as you've seen in the um, title description, it says he learned from ghost mistakes. And then keep in mind, in the trailer, he did say he's got to use all of him, the good side of him, the bad side of him. Right. So that means he's going to be tapping into his inner ghost. Right. So therefore, let me let's go down the line to me. In my opinion, I'm going to say the things that ghosts did that kind of were fatal mistakes for him. And to be honest with you, as genius and as impressive and strong as James St. Patrick was, his weakness was who? His family. Those around him, the people that he loved. And those and his three greatest weaknesses were who? Tariq, Tasha, and Tommy. Those were his greatest weaknesses because he kept, if you pay attention, a lot of the things that ghosts went through Oh, yeah, and Angela. Sorry, left that one. A lot of the things that Ghost went through, it was because he was trying to protect one of those four. Think about that. Every bad thing that happened to Ghost was because he was protecting one of them. We can. I'll give you an example for each and every one. So, as we know, um, he went to jail, Right? Because he was he was dealing with the thing with Angela. Um, you know, he the thing that he did with Milan and stuff like that. And um, he, he also went to jail because, you know, they thought he killed Greg Knotts. But the only reason why they thought he killed Greg Knotts is because he was trying to protect Tommy by getting that tape. Because Greg had a tape with, you know, Tom, Tommy basically confessing to killing the Lobos and... Ruiz. So, Ghost was trying to get their tape back to protect Tommy. Because keep in mind, Ghost wasn't incriminated in that tape because he never, they just kept, all Tommy said was Ghost. He never said James St. Patrick. So, Ghost, that's speculation. They could say that's anybody. So, he was still in the clear. He could have just let that ride and they just went and got Tommy. But nope, his love for Tommy, he had to go get that tape. And that ultimately led to him going to jail. Now, why am I talking about this? Because while he was in jail, that's when Tariq started to really, really go down into the deep end. This is when he really started getting bad because he was hanging out with Kanan. Kanan was showing him all these different things and stuff, and it was just making him worse and worse. If Kanan would have never showed him about the life, perhaps Tariq would have been a... um, college regular college student right now going to school and making the, making something out of his life other than the, you know the drug guy but since he since ghost wasn't there to you know technically keep tabs on Tariq since he was in jail he was able to hang around Kanan enough that Kanan was able to flip him right now um let's get into Tasha he Tasha is also has some part and on it too because Tasha didn't want to support his dream in the beginning as as we all know but um, honestly I don't even have to get into Tasha to be honest with you it's really the main one which is what I'm, I'm focusing on is let's just get into the Tommy situation Tommy kept on messing up and he kept trying to save Tommy let's just be real as Lord, even though Tommy had his back too, but Tommy was a hothead and he doesn't think when he does things. And it's like he told him at the end of um, of um, the season, of the final season. Tommy, I'm tired of your petty shit. You know, I'm, I'm leaving you behind. He was finally deciding that, bro, I can't keep doing this with you. I keep trying, and you just won't change. I told you, like he said, I told you. I said, get out the effing game. Remember he said that, which is the truth. He, d- he told Tommy numerous of times, get out the game, bro. We got enough money. That's the only way you really can survive in that game, because if you just keep trying to go and go, you only have one, one or two fates. You got, you got two choices. You keep going, you're going to either get caught, go your butt to jail, or you're going to get killed. One of the two is going to happen. You're not going to live until your 90s 
90 or whatever and die, die old being a drug dealer. It's just not going to happen. The odds of that happening is very, very slim. I, I Honestly, I don't know any. Y'all let me know in the comments if you know something. People who got to grow old and died of old age or something being a drug dealer. Even if you do know some, you don't know many, right? So, this is my thing. Let's look at, if you look at the description for the season, it says that Tariq wonders, right? He starts to wonder if it's room for two at the top. Because when, because Braden is going to start, you know, meddling with a reckless lifestyle. And, and I think, yeah, we already figured out what it is. I predicted it the moment I seen it, actually, that um, he was going to become a cokehead. I mean, let's just be real. It's, it's, um, it's kind of passed down. All of his family, they were on coke. His brother, I'm not exactly sure if his father was, but for sure his uncle was. All of their other family members that was working at Western Holdings, all of them were cokeheads. So, he, as you saw in the last episode, um, the new girl love interest that he has, Ellie, introduced him to that coke, and he's gonna get hooked. And once he does, he'll start doing reckless things, probably doing unnecessary and crazy killings that that he don't have to do. You know, doing stupid licks, you know, probably just doing stuff that, that, that he, he just don't need to be doing, and Tariq's probably going to be battling with him, trying to tell him, dude, we shouldn't be doing it. and I think, you know, he's going to start pressing Tariq, similar to how Tommy used to do Ghost, right? Because they swear they know what they're doing, but they're actually working out, out of their emotions and messing stuff up. So, getting me to my final point, right? If Ghost would have just killed Tommy, I'm just can't saying, I'm not saying he should have, but let's just let's just deal with what if he did. If Ghost would have just killed Tommy and got him out of the way, like because remember, Lobos even told him this. Lobos told him in season two, Tommy, he's no more. He's dead weight. He was trying to get him to knock off. Tommy because Tommy was reckless and made a lot of mistakes. Even even Greg Knox was like, you know, figured it out and was like, Tommy's not somebody that I would trust to run my organization because he's not quite smart enough. He does too many he does too many things that's just crazy that doesn't make sense. So I think Braden is gonna start to do the same thing. And if Tariq doesn't be careful he could end up suffering the same fate that the ghost did because he's going to be constantly trying to bail out Braden. So if ghost would have just took out Tommy like Lobo suggested and then left Tasha like he wanted to, I'm just saying, and then went, uh, and then went with uh, maybe left the, possibly left New York he could have possibly made it out. Just saying. So, if Tariq was to take out Brayden, and then let's say all the Tejadas are wiped out or in jail, it's really nobody that kind of knows him. He can start to be a ghost. Well, I mean, obviously, it's still going to be people here and there, but it just... It helps, you know, him be able to stay on top because you, as you've seen on the description, he's he's trying to cripple anybody who's trying to climb that ladder and make it to the top with them. So, with that being said, the best way to do it is you can't. You got to take Braden out too. He got to be taken out the chessboard because he's reckless, or he's gonna suffer the same fate as Ghost. So. That's pretty much my thoughts on this particular video, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking. Do you think that in order for Tariq to survive in this game as long as he can, do you think it would be in his best interest to take out Brayden? Let me know in the comments. But, you know, like usual, if you're cool with me, fool with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking, but most importantly, make sure you share it with your ugly-ass friends. But until the next video, I'm out.